Hi, my name's Lisa Berrywaite, and I'm the 1920s record specialist at the National Archives. In today's video, I'm going to be focusing on the trailblazing feminist campaigner, Helena Normington, who was one of the first female barristers. Helena did not have an easy childhood. At the age of four, her father was found dead in mysterious circumstances, with a broken neck in a railway tunnel, and her mother was forced to support the family. She initially trained as a teacher and studied for an external degree in history at the University of London, where she later lectured. Aspiring to be a barrister, Helena applied to become a student at Middle Temple in 1918. However, her application was refused and she lodged a petition with the House of Lords. On the 24th of December 1919, within hours of the Sex Disqualification Removal Act coming into force, which enabled women to join the professions and their professional bodies, Helena reapplied and was admitted to the Middle Temple. Helena is listed in the 1921 census as head of the household and living on her own in Kennington, London. Interestingly, her occupation is recorded as law student, London University exterior lecturer, home duties and writer. In 1922, Helena was called to the bar and became the first woman in England to practice as a barrister. She also became the first woman to conduct a case in the United States in 1925. Helena achieved a number of firsts in her legal career and was an important figure in paving the way for women in law.